Hey, collective, hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. I love you guys, okay? Shout out to everyone that has booked the personal reading, everybody that has donated. Thank you, guys. Give me some messages for the collective. I'm going to just get three of these collective just to pull an overall energy, okay? I'm seeing despair, okay? So somebody, you might be in this despair energy. This say not hiring in the back. It say not hiring right there. So you might be out of work. Your money might be looking funny, okay? You might not know where your next meal gonna come from. How you gonna pay your bill? You know what I'm saying? Again, it's like you in some sort of low vibrational energy or you in some, some kind of low vibrational situation here. I'm also picking up, you might be feeling like you know, things working out for everybody else except you. You might feel like you don't qualify for the job, okay? You might have, um, for somebody, you might have a dog or you might have a puppy, something that's comforting you. Like you have some sort of comfort blanket with this, the animal being here. You might be an animal lover. For somebody, I feel like you just work real hard and you still can't make ends meet. Look at the man boots, okay? Can you see his boots? Like they 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 halfway strung up, okay? The tie about to come off his neck. So yeah, I feel like whoever you are is like... You might work hard, but again, it's like you still, excuse me, uh, cannot make ends meet. And I'm seeing a uh, great fortune here. So I feel like for somebody, you going from despair to this great fortune is something great that you are getting ready to tap into. Yeah, this is changing. This number 32 breaks down to a number five. Change, transformation. There's a change that's coming. Wow, I'm seeing imprisonment. For somebody, um, you might be facing jail time, literally, or this could be just you in your head, okay? You might have some... You you might have family that's in jail or that's in prison. But I feel like I'm hearing breaking the chains. Breaking the chains. You might be the generational curse breaker. Okay, because again, this card could just be uh, you in your head. You, you might be feeling trapped. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For somebody, it's like you feeling trapped. You might be feeling stuck in a situation. For somebody, you might feel stuck in a marriage. Stuck in some sort of partnership here that you don't want to be in. For somebody, this marriage or you, you being stuck in this partnership, uh, it's like you never going to come up. You know this ain't your person. You know this not a healthy situation and you stand in it. You being disobedient. Let me tell you something. When I walked away from my marriage of eight years, people thought I was crazy. But I was being obedient, okay, to the Holy Spirit. To what the Holy Spirit showed me. I was being obedient to the voice of God. I knew I could not stay in that situation any longer. And let me tell you something. When I say everybody thought I was tripping because of what went down and how it went down, everybody thought I was tripping. Everybody thought I was fucking crazy. Like real deal, a nutcase. But I didn't give a fuck what nobody thought. I knew what God showed me. I knew what, what where God was guiding me. You know what I'm saying? I knew what I had to do. Now God has blessed me for my obedience. Do you hear me? You will be blessed for your obedience collective. Like God bless me where I live better than I do now. Being a single mom living with one income 
versus being a married woman on, on a two-person income. This is how God work. This is how God work because every marriage God do not ordain. Again, let me say that. Every marriage God don't ordain. Every marriage God don't put these people together. This is why it's very important that you are connected with your higher self. You know what I'm saying? So you can kind of weave between, you know, Bob and weave between, you know, the people that you uh, run into in life. You know who is who. Some people are just tests. Some people are, are just for you to learn a lesson with. Some people just for you to have a good time, okay? Everybody is not marriage material. So for somebody, I feel like you, you, you might be feeling trapped. Whether this is a marriage or not, this can be just a relationship, a, some sort of partnership that I feel like somebody feeling trapped in. But you know this ain't your person, you know, you, you know, uh, you need to get out, but you still there in despair. You going to stay in despair as long as you, you stay in that relationship or that partnership that you know, you don't pose to be in. You going to, you going to feel trapped. You going to feel stuck. This is exactly how I felt before I left in despair. I felt trapped. I felt stuck. Yeah, family room is here. Family room is here. That came out quick. Yeah, I'm saying change with lovers here. Listen, for somebody, this is confirmation. What I said, I wasn't going to pull a lot of these. I have three. I'm going to keep this on top uh, four here. But we seeing change collective, okay? We seeing change here. With lovers at the bottom. For somebody, you feel trapped. You feel stuck in a relationship. You feel stuck in a connection that, that you know this not your person. There's about to be a change. And listen, this is what you don't want to happen. You don't want to be like me and God got to literally wake your ass up. You got to go through some shit. You got to experience some shit that you, that you wish you never had to go through. That you wish you never had to experience. This is why obedience is better than sacrifice. So it's like whether you want this change or should I say this, whether you going to make this change or God, God is going to bring the change, there is some sort of change coming uh, within a connection, within a relationship, within a marriage. The lovers is here. You, you, it's like you, you not with your divine counterpart. Your soulmate is here. You are not with your soulmate, your d divine counterpart, your twin flame, whatever you want to call it. For some of you, you have a twin flame mission. Lovers and journey is here. You literally have a twin flame mission. You have a, a divine counterpart, a prodigal spouse. There, there is a, a purpose for you and this person coming together. It's like you're going to impact many people here. Cannot make this shit up. Courtship is here with community. Your relationship with your divine counterpart. You are going to impact many people. You are going to change many lives. Again, love is the highest vibration. Wow, this is crazy collective. Let's clarify. Let's get some more messages. I don't even know which deck to pull from next. And whoever you are, protection is here. It's like you being protected from something. God is trying to protect you from something. This is why we got to learn to be obedient. Stay out of our flesh. You know what I'm saying? It's always like something fleshly with, with us, with us humans. You know what I'm saying? It's like.
if you paid attention from the beginning, you would have never been in that situation anyways, but you wasn't woke. You weren't connected with your higher self. And I'm talking to me too, coming from out of the marriage that I came from. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't connected with my higher self. I wasn't woke collective. I was just in my flesh doing what made me feel good, what I thought made me happy. And then it taken eight years to come up at that thing. God be trying to protect us from the beginning collective. Yeah, I cannot make this shit up, guys. Look what came out. Let go. Can you read that? That's a let go down here. Listen, you're going to stay in despair as long as you in this connection. You got to let go. You got to break the chain. You got to break the yoke. You got to break that, that tie. This is crazy, guys. Wow. I think this is the first reading that I've ever done like this. For somebody, you got to walk away from a connection. Freedom is here. You got to set yourself free. You have to set yourself free. It's like you in a fucking mental prison here. Whoever this person is, they ain't even, they, you not even equally yoked with this person. They not equally yoked with you. Give me some more messages for the collective. I'm also seeing like insanity, the word insanity. This person is crazy on the low for some of y'all. You don't even know that. You don't know some of the, I'm hearing childhood trauma that has been afflicted upon this person, how damaged this person is, but you about to find that with clarity here. But for some of y'all, it's like you're going to have to find out the hard way. Yes, look, wow. This is crazy. Sex magic is here on top. I'm going to take the one on top, sex magic. So for some of y'all, this person doing some sort of sex magic on you, keeping you feeling trapped and stuck. This is why you feel stuck. This is why you feel trapped. This is why you feel like you can't break free. Compassion is here at the bottom. Somebody could be a path life number five, a path life number nine, okay? A path life number four. This person is keeping you in bondage. As long as you with this person, you will not reach your fullest potential. This is why God will force a change. Cause something to happen where you have no choice but to walk away how he did me. Because you will never reach your fullest potential with this person. Whoever you are, you are a visionary. You are a visionary collective. God is already, I feel like, giving you visions. God is already showing you things. Revealing things to you about this person. About this relationship. But you overlooking it. This person I'm hearing is a shapeshifter. They are shapeshifter. Yeah, the void is here. This person will do anything just to fill some sort of void that they have. Thank you. It's like this person empty on the inside when God is trying to take you through some sort of transformation, some sort of change. I feel like you could be, you could be someone that constantly evolve, constantly elevate, right? Constantly change. And it's just like you're in this season now where it's time for you to go through this transformation. 
You don't have a choice. There is some change that is coming, whether again it's forced or you do it uh, willingly. But I'm telling you, it's my advice. Don't do not. Allow God to force your hand. Don't make God force your hand. That's why you got to go to God about everything. Ladies and gentlemen, this confirmation, wow. You have to literally go to God about everything. Especially when we seeking a partner. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that we trying to be with. You know what I'm saying? Like, before we get sexually involved with people, you know what I'm saying? You got to take this person to God. You, you got to get confirmation on who this person is in your life before you move forward. This going to save you headache. This going to save you hassle. This is why a lot of us are single mothers because it wasn't even meant for us to be with these men. These men weren't even our person. But if you anything like me, see, I was in my flesh. I didn't go and take my ex-husband to God. I just thought this was my person. And it was not. All the red damn flags was there. Wow, we got glam here. There's going to be some sort of change collective, I'm telling you. There is about to be a shift. There is going to be some sort of change. This says glamorous energy. For somebody, this person keeping you in a low vibrational energy, in a low vibrational state of mind, okay? You don't even like really getting dressed up no more. You don't even see your energy is being depleted. You don't even put on your lipstick no more. You don't even wear no foundation no more. Not saying that you have to. But when you in a certain energy, you tap into certain things because we are manifesting. So for somebody, you need to manifest this change. Get out this slump that you in, okay? With despair here. With imprisonment here. Get out this slump that you in. Get up and do something that make yourself feel good. Do your hair, girl. Go get, your, go get that haircut, man. You know what I'm saying? Do something. Don't be. That's another thing with y'all men, too. Let me say this. If you a man watching, go get your hair cut, okay? If you got dreads, get you a retwist. Don't be out here looking any kind of way. If you can't afford, because haircuts are expensive. Hell, I, since I, I just bought clippers and cut my boys have my damn self. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I, I just been doing it so long. Now I'm like a damn professional. You know what I'm saying? Like on everything so if if you can't really afford if it's too costly and you just don't want to spend that money and you a guy you know what i'm saying or a woman with a low haircut get go invest in your own stuff these are just skills that anybody can can learn right it's like once you do something so many times you got it invest in yourself so this is what i'm picking up for somebody you need to start investing in yourself Wow, this is crazy, guys. Let's pull some tarot. Give me some more messages for the collective. For some of y'all, you, you even sleeping with the enemy. Look at this. You sleeping with the enemy. You ain't, you not even in divine alignment with this person. Again, it's like, yeah, you, you need to be, you getting ready to manifest your divine counterpart. You getting ready to manifest the man or the woman that God created you to be with. Stop letting them damn kids run your ass down. I'm telling you, take care of yourself. Start getting your hair done or do that shit yourself. Buy you some glue on nails if you can't go to the nail shop. 
We manifesting shit. Yeah, six of pentacles. Something is, is, is going to be reciprocated to you. The energy you put out, you going to get back here. Give me some more messages for the collective. Shoot, this is a lot, okay? This is a lot. I'm going to just take the one off top. I'm going to take the Queen of Pentacles, okay? We seeing the Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like this is you coming into this energy. You coming into this Queen of Pentacles energy with your divine counterpart. This is where you're going to step into this energy. For somebody, I feel like, um, some, there, again, there's going to be a shift financially. There's going to be some sort of change financially, okay? You could be getting, like, a new job. Some of y'all could be starting a new business. What did I say? You need to invest in yourself. This is helping you manifest your divine counterpart. You have somebody, a divine counterpart here. Somebody who God created you to be with. Somebody that you're spiritually ordained to be with, collective. So it's like you cannot prosper with this other person. You can't be this queen of pentacles with this person that you with now. This is not your person. Yeah, this falling on let go. It's like, again, you're going to have to let go of that connection to get here, to get to this Queen of Pentacle energy. You manifesting something in the material realm, okay? Something in the physical realm with the Queen of Pentacles here. You settled for this person. This person don't even treat you like the queen or the king that you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, wow. One fail. Hold on. Let me try to get this. Oh. Got to try to scoop it up with another one on this floor. All right. The king, uh, not the king, the knight of pentacles came out. The Knight of Pentacles came out. Collective, you have something else very solid waiting on you. You have something else very solid waiting on you. I'm also picking up for somebody. You might have been knowing this for a while and you just stayed in a relationship. You know, I want the kid. I'm gonna just stay in it for the kids. Nah, bruh. Ain't we ain't doing that over here. We not doing that over here. Because you cannot be you you cannot be your best, okay? In an unhappy marriage or in an unhappy relationship. You know what I'm saying? You can't be, you can't reach your fullest potential. You can't be the best mother or father that you can be for your kids in that situation. There is something very, very solid coming. You got to get out of this shit, whoever you are. You got to get out. You, it's something very solid coming. Longevity. We, we see in the Queen of Pentacles and the Knights of Pentacles here. Very stable. Yeah, the justice card is here. What did I say? Something very, very stable. You're going to get, listen, everything that is yours, collective, you will get. You're going to get justice, okay? It's like you, you just have to do your part. When we do our part, then God can do his part. You know what I'm saying? So it's like there is, it was just a 444 when I looked up. 
So for somebody, it's like you need to do your part. To get this outcome, you need to do your part. I'm also picking up like a divorce here with this justice card. If anybody have to divorce, it's like you gonna get what's yours. The divorce is gonna go in your favor, okay? If there's anything legal involved, it will go in your favor. This is the benefit of doing the right thing, right? When you doing the right thing, God always got your back. When you listening to God, when you following the instruction of the Holy Spirit, God going to always have your back. You think God going to tell you to lead that man or lead that woman and then not work things out in your damn favor? The devil is a liar. And I feel like if you have kids with this person or if, yeah, like if you have kids with this person, it don't matter if you are a man or a woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't feel bad. Don't be shamed. Don't be trying to stay in a relationship. Like I say, just because you have kids, some, some women, some men might feel like, you know, nobody not going to want you with kids, but the devil is a liar. You have a divine counterpart and nine times out of 10, if you already have kids, right, God will show that to that person. They going to already know before they meet you that you have kids. They going to know they person have kids. God is going to give you somebody who going to accept you with what you bring to the table. Any package. What you might feel like is a burden, right? Ain't shit to this person. Yeah, it's like they might, they, they might, you know, like light work. You know what I'm saying? That shit light work for them collective. The, the temperance card is here. The temperance card is here. A lot of you guys, you're earth angels, okay? Your divine counterpart is an earth angel as well. There is some sort of change that is taking place in divine timing. An angel is here falling on change. So listen, I'm telling you collective, y'all better be obedient and listen to the Holy Spirit. Do, what, do the right thing. If you know this not your person and God been dealing with you, now I'm not telling nobody just, just walk out of your marriage, leave your relationship, no. What I'm telling you is I am your confirmation. If God has already been dealing with you about this. That is what I'm telling you. This is just confirmation of God have already been dealing with you collective about this person. Or dealing with you about walking away. But you might be concerned. You might not know, you know, how whatever is going to happen. But God going to make a way. And let me tell y'all this really quick before we close out this reading. Because this might help somebody. Because again, it, it, it might encourage you. I love sharing my stories with y'all. Ain't no shame in my game. That's one thing about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let me say this. At the time when I separated from my husband, right? I was not working, okay? I was not working. Um, and matter of fact, King was a baby. King was a baby at the time. Or he was just very small. You know what I'm saying? He was he was very small. King was probably like three years old when it when we separated. You know what I'm saying? Two or three. And I had my other kids. And it was just like, you know what? I don't even know how the hell I'm going to pay my bills. You know what I'm saying? Because I done kicked this man out the house, right? I don't know how the hell I'm going to pay my bills. He wasn't man enough to volunteer and still know, okay, even though we done separated, I'm still going to help because I know my kids there. I know they need a roof over their head and I know you've been a stay at home mom. So I'm not going to just leave y'all hanging like that. But I, I can't do nothing but respect the fact 
if you don't want to help, you don't want to help. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't want to help. So, okay, wasn't giving me no money for the kids or nothing. I literally didn't have anything, guys, right? But let me show y'all. We separated, I will never forget, we separated on um, Easter, on the Easter Sunday. It went down on the Easter Sunday, right? So that's what, in, in April, I believe. Okay, so we filed income tax in like January or February, right, of this same year, except when we filed income taxes, they tried to take our income tax from my student loan, but because the year before I didn't work and just he worked, right, they couldn't do that because that was his income. They can't take income that is not yours so for people out there who feel like you don't want to get married because your wife or your husband might got student loans it don't work out like that they can't take that money if it didn't come from that person okay so again we had to go through this long drawn out process with irs he had to turn in some paperwork uh you know basically just stating all of that was his income that was earned it was none of mine so that the student loan people had to release, Department of Education had to release the money back to him. So guess what? When we separated in April, the money still had not been released, okay? Look at God. So one day I just checked the damn mail, honey, and I had a damn $9,000 check in the mail from the IRS. The Department of Education returned the money to... um the IRS and the IRS mailed the check. And the check name uh, came in my husband's name, right? But we got a bank account together. We have a bank account together. So what did I do? I went and, and I uh, deposited the money in the account. I just cut his card off. As simple as that, because he wasn't a very intelligent man to really figure out how to work, you know what I'm saying? Or he wasn't even, his mind wasn't even on the income tax, okay? It was a lot going on at that time. But let me show you how God make will make a way. God will always make a way. God already knew we was gonna be separated when that money come. He knew me and my kids was gonna need it. So I'm telling you this to help somebody. You gotta trust God. You gotta have faith, even though at the time shit might be looking crazy, right? You gotta, you... You got it. It's a card in here. Let me show you this card that on this other deck real quick before I close out this reading. Because this is like the perfect card. Where is it at? It say, if you believe. Okay, where is this card? If you believe. Because I feel like somebody needs to see this. Yeah, here it goes. Look. If you believe collective, all you got to do is believe. I never lost faith. I never lost faith. It was like me and him were separated probably like a week and a half before the, the money came. I wasn't even expecting the money. I just knew God was going to make a way. I just knew God was going to make a way because I knew that I, I made it the right decision. I did what I had to do. So for somebody, again, all you have to do is believe. Literally, do you believe? Do you believe? And then right after I separated with my husband, um, my ex-husband, we separated the following year. So we separated April of 2020, right? And March of 2022, um, Okay, no, we separated April 2021. We separated April 20, was it 2020? No, we separated in 2020, okay? April 2022, which was last year. So two years after that, because it took me, you know, I had went through a lot. We was together for eight years. So it took me like two years to kind of bounce back to fully recover to fully heal right so in april of 2022 which was last year that was two years of being separated from my husband um i started my youtube channel i got into tarot 
I've been doing it for a year now. You know what I'm saying? So I found my purpose within that pain. I turned that pain into power. It was another way for me to channel that energy. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just about, it's it's more to it. You know what I'm saying? And, and my ex-husband asked me before, like, why you didn't do what you do now when we was together? Like, why I didn't have a YouTube channel when we was together? Obviously, it wasn't meant, Negro. You know what I'm saying? So it, this is what I'm picking up. It's like, you can't reach your fullest potential with this person. You can't be who God called you to be with this person. Again, there's a divine counterpart that you have. It's somebody else that God has for you. You don't got to spend the rest of your days alone. You know what I'm saying? But it's important that we come into divine alignment so God can strategically guide us, guys, and strategically literally show us who our person is. God have the ability to reveal this to you. Bef like I, I knew who my person was before I met him. Before I met him, like God showed me him. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny because the first conversation that me and him had, which was um, June of last year, okay? I, I, I saw this man before I met him. In June of last year, when, when we had our first conversation, he told me the first phone call, y'all, like, he was ready to get married. He want a family. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just looking like, damn, you know, this is the first phone call. I don't know this man from here to New Mexico. You know what I'm saying? So it just, things will work out in your favor, collective. Things will fall in place. You just got to trust God, okay? You have to trust God. So... I hope this message resonated, guys. Hit that thumbs up, okay? Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Share this damn video to somebody who need to see this shit. Wake they ass up, collective, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.